Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another uh, video here. This is Reyna and you're watching uh, Stock It Wise. And so, I'm so sorry. It's uh, Saturday today, uh, April 1st. Well, I just like to show you something outside. There it is. Right. It is, it is springtime here in Canada. But more importantly, uh, it's April 1st, as I've said, it's April Fool's Day, and uh, it's almost, uh, it's 6 o'clock p.m. here, and, you know, you know, the, uh, the April Fool's uh, is, you know, the joke is on us, because here in Canada, we just got slugged with uh, increased uh, taxes, you know, the carbon tax uh, increased uh, by... I don't know how much, but it increased today. So yesterday, last night, I went to the gasoline station. And, oh, yesterday, uh, I took time off from work. Like, I went home uh, two hours early uh, to buy some groceries, you know, because I know that the, the taxes are going up today. And so we did uh, the grocery yesterday. I went to uh, buy a couple of liquors because um, liquor tax is going up too. And then um, uh, the gasoline, so the carbon tax is increasing from I don't know how much to a certain. Uh, so I know that the, the carbon tax is increasing also today. So I filled up my uh, jerry cans, like 80 liters of them. So we're, I mean, it's not it's not the uh, you know a solution like to do like that, but you know at the least. I have uh, you know extra 80 liters and then my my vehicles are full uh, all full filled up so I'm fine for the next uh, couple of weeks and with that but that's it you know after that I'll have to still you know pay the increased amount right and the taxes and all of that so uh, I just uh, recently went back to my uh, my videos and I found out that there's uh, one of the subscribers had um, commented on the uh, the video that I posted about SBB bank uh, failure you know the bank in the US so there were uh, I think there's four already uh, banks that have failed uh, in recent uh, in recent times you know in in uh, the past uh, couple of weeks or uh, the past month right so there's the uh, first SBB bank and um i think uh first republic signature bank and then you have uh, credit suisse right and then there's uh uh i think another one uh which is about to implode again deutsche bank so we all worry about that and so she said uh she said on the comment that uh so we'll just uh keep the the cash instead but really the the problem the problem is the dollar itself it's not it's not the banks it's the dollar itself you know the counterparty risk here is the u.s government right if you i really it's 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 mind-boggling that uh people still doesn't know uh anything and still believe that you know this whole uh this whole uh circus that uh the uh, the U.S. dollar is uh, really uh, the best way to uh, to get wealthy, you know. But it's not. It's an IOU of the U.S. government. This this is an IOU that uh, that the government is just uh, the U.S. government is just printing to oblivion, right? So why is that the the U.S. government is the, the counterparty risk here? Because people and uh, other countries believe on the ability of the u.s government to pay down its debt it's another form of debt you know the u.s dollar is another form of debt it hasn't been money since uh um what's his name um uh oh i forget about his name it was in 1971 when when it was uh, the u.s dollar was taken off the gold standard so it's not backed by anything but by market uh but by market participants so the market is the one uh, dictating the value of it so 
so the reason why i mean i've been i've been uh, you know i'm not uh, posting much about uh, the us dollar or anything about the economy because the whole thing is uh, is relying on the uh, the uh, the people's uh, trust you know and when uh, you know when the people's trust erodes on the us dollar you know still the people in other countries still believe in the us dollars that's the reason why you have lebanon um, you know they're experiencing uh, the worst inflation in recent memories, and now they're uh, now the economy is being the do uh, dollar the dollar rising. They they're using more of the dollar. Venezuela they're using the dollar because they believe that the U.S. dollar is um, how you say that would save the day for them, but it's not. You know the U.S. dollar is the U.S. is just exporting or their inflation to other countries and that's what's happening right now and other people from other countries still believe that the u.s dollar is the is uh is going to solve all their problems but it's not so i know it's it's up to you if you want to uh you know you have to uh, dig into everything so you know to prepare for everything because you know i can't uh uh, I can't think of uh, anything else to say, but, you know, the money that you think uh, that the money is, that, that the money that we're using right now is not actually money. It's only fiat currency. It is just by the decree of the government that says that this is only the legal tender that we can use, right? And there's and there's multiple ways that they can... Uh, de uh, they can devalue this uh, this currency, and as uh, and as uh, uh, the longer and then the 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 more that they they devalue uh, the dollar or the currency, the more the price increase will go up. So I hope uh, you get the uh, you get the message here and. I'll see you again on my next video. Have a great weekend and stay safe, everyone.